revolution. Yeah, buckle up. Little revolution. It's a little revolution. Yeah, buckle up. Tune in to the little revolution. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Wee Man and my boy Poncho Muller. What's up, guys? How's it going? Nobody's first, nobody's second. Here on Little Revolution. Yeah. <laughs> Here on Little Revolution, we're equals. Equal? Yeah. But two of us don't make one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we're no. two separates. Yeah. How you been, buddy? I've been pretty good, man. How about you? Good, good. Yeah. Good to see you. You look good. You're always so, like, you're, like, glowing. Vibrant? Yeah, you're very vibrant. You're glowing. Like, what is it with you? What are you doing? Just eating good. Uh, I have a friend. She's a dermatologist. And mm. I got a nice facial. Not a sexual one. Just a regular one. And uh, I got these creams I use now. Nice. We're older dudes. We got to take care of ourselves, bro. What you is it, I mean? like creams, like with like some of the Dead Sea in there? You know, you got yeah. some mud, some yeah. Dead Sea mud, put it on. Got the mud, got the exfoliating stuff. Yeah, man. Hydrating cream. Got to hydrate your skin, bro. You don't just hydrate yourself, you hydrate your skin. I need to so, do that. Yeah. My fucking, my face looks. <laughs> Why? What's it's like going Freddy on? like Krueger. <laughs> 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 I'm not, you're, no. you're, I mean, I'm my worst critic, so you know what I mean? Everybody is their yeah. worst critic, so. Yeah, what's been going on with you lately? What, do you, uh, what have you been up to? You doing well, the gym? You going to the gym? I do the gym like twice, maybe three times a week. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and then also, we've been, my wife and I have been fostering a bunch of new dogs. Uh, they're, they're not that healthy, but we're trying to like get them, get them better to be able to adopt them and stuff. How did you guys end up with these dogs? Uh, through Jeanette. Jeanette oh, okay, remember, yeah. Jeanette, yeah. Like she's been, she needs a lot of help. And um, some of the dogs, uh, I guess animal control came to her house. And a lot of the dogs that were crated up that were in her house, they told her she can't have, she can have all the animals, but they can't be crated up in the house like that. So we, we've been, we took a few of them. And uh, are you letting them roam free? Yeah, in your house? yeah, that's kind of not roam free, but roam free in the yard. We have yeah, huge kennels and stuff, yeah. so they're not stuck. They're being walked. They're, they're, you know, they're. It's a, it's a little different life. It's a little decompression for them because they're where they're at. Like it's like a, like a prison straight up. Like yeah, a, it's a prison for dogs. Like you know, like they. How many? How many do you have right now? How many animals you got in the? Right now we're fostering three, but we have four dogs of our own. So seven dogs right yeah, now at your house. We have seven cats, yeah. Four, but, 14 yeah. animals at your yeah, house right now. Yeah, but, but there's only four dogs in our house. Okay, and then the, the three. The other dogs are in kennels outside, outside that we built. Emily, my wife, bought these like big, like um, they're like six by 12 kennels that we built. Oh, wow, those are big. And, yeah, and so each of them are in that, and we're kind of slowly allowing them to hang out with each other amongst each other uh -huh. and then and then with all the other dogs what kind of dogs are these uh one's a pit bull and then the other one's like a pit bull and a hush puppy and then the other one's just like a like a pit bull mix of something we don't oh, know okay yet. got it dang yeah how hot is it right now up by you too is it pretty um, warm or is it a little cooler because you're kind of elevated we get cool evenings and cool mornings, but during the day, it probably gets about like 85, 90. It's probably going to get hotter, you know? Dang. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah, my dad and my mom always text me because they're both in like hot areas. My dad, Both my mom and dad are in 100, like in 11 degree. Like whether my dad's in AZ, my mom's in Vegas. Oh, wow. And I'm like, oh, yeah. The, the, the high is going to be 70 at my house today. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Basically, like, when you live out there, the summertime, you're living in your house. Oh, you're in AC. You're, you're, you're not outside. No. If I lived out there, I would sleep all day and do everything at night. Yeah. That's how I would change that's, my life completely. Like, yeah. Kind of, I remember going on tour, skateboarding, and going to – and being – in Arizona, because they have all those cement parks there, being there in the middle of summer, 
and not being able to skate there during the day. No. Like, and all the Hell skaters, man. like, dude, no, we, uh, we come here like at six. Yeah. Cause they're, they're all lit up and stuff. Yeah. So we would just hang out in our hotel rooms, like on a skateboard tour. Yeah. Like swim around during the day, go back in the hotel room, and then go skating like all night. Yeah. Do the demos and yeah. the skate stuff at night. Yeah. But it's brutal weather, like in, in, in those areas. No way, Jose, for me, dude. Yeah. No way. So, you're at the gym. How's the gym? What, uh, how, so, I don't, I used to go to like 24 hour fitness, but I never did. I've never gone to like the gym area and did the weights or anything like that. Yeah. I'd use the pool and the saunas and stuff. You're, you're using the equipment, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I use the equipment that like I, I'm able to, to use. Like most of the equipment that they, they have in these gyms, like that, like all the leg equipment and stuff, like, I can't use any of it. My legs don't fit. I'm like basically doing prison exercises at a gym. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just going there so you're at least somewhere to do exercises? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it just... Because you're not motivated at home. I'm no, not I'm, motivated at home either. Absolutely I to, not. I have to get I, out of my house. Yeah, I need to get... It, it's a good... It's good for me to be able to get out of the house, get away from like... Like my wife, get away from all the animals yeah. and just kind of, de it's my decompression. Yeah. And be able to go to this gym and then just watch everyone work out and kind of get inspired in my own way. And then I have a couple buddies there that kind of help me out. And that's, oh. that's basically, I'll do it for like an hour and a half and two and then try to feel a little better, better about myself and, and then just head back home. Are there millennials doing like TikTok videos at your gym? Yeah, dude. <laughs> There was this weird Asian dude. Uh, there was this weird Asian dude, and he was like doing like ballet, like on like the bench press. You know the bar that that you when you're yeah. laying down. And yeah, well, he he was on top of it, like doing the splits, and like and like really bending and like reaching. And I'm like, is this some kind of new exercise? You know, like, and I see, and then you look at everyone else, like. Like what? <laughs> and then you and, and then you get like the the gym that like the true gym muscle heads are like what the fuck is this guy yeah. doing like yeah 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 like <laughs> and then you see his phone like, up like lift stuff. some weights pussy like you know like <laughs> yeah. the muscle and, heads are dicks dude <laughs> is he bringing a GoPro or is he doing full iPhone like he's got his little iPhone set up with his tripod and of course <laughs> like my wife like defends him. I'm like telling her about this and I'm like this no that that's that's not what you do at the gym you know <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. And she's like no no it's a it's a new thing that like these guys do and I'm like what not at the gym like, like, like make a studio for that yeah, you know what it, I mean? it was just weird I mean he had really good balance like you know like yeah because that shit like slides but <sighs> yeah so you're making friends at the gym yeah people weren't feeling it yeah I made a couple friends, man, but uh, I, I met this guy. We started talking, this this Indian cat and uh, Hindu Indian. Not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I get you. Um, and he he's a doctor, of course. No, not of nice. course. And he, he, he like has what his own like- What do you mean of like, course? Because Indian people are usually doctors or- Lawyers. Like they're, they're, they're fucking smart or lawyers. lawyers. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That, that's like- all right, got it. And that's why you did that's the, one of that's their tricks. That's why you did the of course. Okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, my fucking my physician is an Indian guy. Okay. He's, he's fucking dope, dude. Right. He's got like this wonky eye that you're. <laughs> but he's smart lazy as hell. Eye? Yeah, the he's lazy got like eye? a lazy eye. But I'm like, hey, I I'm love, right here. I love you know? talking to people with lazy eyes. <laughs> my, my wife's got the same doctor, and she was like, oh fuck, Pancho's gonna go in there, and he's gonna be like, what the hell? And I was like, no, I love him. He like curses and shit. Yeah, of course. He'll just be like, yeah, you're fucked up, dude. Like, <laughs> your back's pretty fucked. I'm like, really? He's like, I'm, le I'm like, at least you're straight up with me, dude. Good. <laughs> good. Yeah. But there's this Indian guy at the at the, the gym. He's this big guy. And he's like, I, I started following you. I see that you do stand-up. I'm like, yeah. He's like, I've been trying to get into it. And yeah. I, I just don't know where to start. And I was trying to, like, help him out, like, tell him about the open mics and have him come he's too it, rich to do comedy yeah I, I, yeah basically I, i'm like what are you going to talk about but yeah. it's like dude i do botox for most of these people at the gym i'm like what oh he's a he's botox like, doctor. yeah he's like if you 
if you help me out with your stand up, if you help me out like and write jokes and help me set them up like with the punchlines and stuff, I will give you free Botox. Shut up. Oh. And I, I'm like, you is that shit even expensive? You don't need Botox. I know. But I'm like, but he's like, yeah. He's like, I could give you free Botox because I see with little people, you guys' heads are like shaped really weird. Like, you know, you got like a <laughs> peanut head and shit and I can like fix those areas. <laughs> And then, and then and then you could tell and then Wee Man will see you and he'll be like, Oh shit, I want to get that done too. He's like <laughs> oh, so he's, he's using you for the freebie. Absolutely. And trying to get it in my wallet. Yeah. That's what he's trying to do, dude. But yeah, I'm like I'm I like, dude, like when is when is the right time for a dude to get Botox? Like like I know I get wrinkly and stuff, but like, yeah, like but I don't want to like, get some fucked up shit like Mickey Rourke. No. You know, like no, no offense, Mickey Rourke, but that, like, you know, like, no, no, like is that want, plastic surgery? No. Is that Botox? What Go is natural, that? dude. Come on, bro. Yeah. No, that's like men age like wine, dude. The older we are, the finer we are. You yeah. know what I mean? The, My wife you, was like, do not do that. If you yeah, do that, she's you're smart. a fucking idiot. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like going to come home with like a big <laughs> lump on my head. <laughs> the guy told me it's going to go away in five days, dude. Like... <laughs> Maybe he wants to do it, and then he has a joke to write about it. Oh, yeah. that's why I said, help me with the comedy. I think he was trying to be sincere. No, I know. But, like, I'm like, I don't... Maybe it was an icebreaker. A little, yeah. Maybe it was an icebreaker to talk to you. Maybe yeah. he just wanted to chit-chat with you. Yeah. But you know he's know like, I mean? I, uh, half of the people at the gym are my clients. I'm like, what? Can you? Do you notice the Botox people? I don't know how to even tell, to be honest. Yeah. Like, especially well, with young people. You know what I mean? Like... You can Do you see the tell. lips? Do you, the lips are a good uh, giveaway. Like a big, like duck lips, like this. Kind of duck lips, but kind of like look like somebody just punched him in the face. Or like, or like this, or like your face is just fucking like. Oh, you can't you even close you your eyes. If they're talking to you and their eyebrows and their forehead don't move, that's another sign. Mm. Yeah. Do you know I, people like that? Oh, totally. I look at them like, like what Hollywood people or no average Joe people like, like regular buddies, friends? friends, not dudes. Girls, I know. Have you ever like been like, dude, that they fucked you up? It no, because because you're you're a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. You don't want to lose followers, no. so like. No, these are friends <laughs> yeah, too, yeah. and I wouldn't, you know, I'm more. I'd rather say something nice to you than mean. Yeah, yeah. My other friends won't say that. I'm a bully to my other friends. Yeah. But like, <laughs> I'm just like no. Like if I came in with some fucked up. Oh, I would. Dude, just I be would. Like, I, I would, can't wait to get on the pod. I would, yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, punch. This is amazing. You. You just gave us gold. <laughs> this is where not to go. <laughs> yeah, no, that I, I don't think I'm going to do it. No, don't. Yeah, probably Help not. Help the guy out, but don't, you know. Yeah. So, no, him, a doctor doing comedy kind of made me think of. Um, I know who you're thinking of. Did Started doing comedy. Ken Jong. No, not him. Okay. No, it was a comedian. Okay. And he started he started getting money, he said, and he started doing jokes differently. So he's like, anybody get that new Land Rover? Oh. And nobody was laughing, you know what I mean? So <laughs> they're like, okay, why is this, like, what's fun? Yeah, okay, what are you bragging, you know? So he was like, when people get a little money and stuff, that comedy's different. I saw this uh, comedian, she was at a mic, and she's probably been doing it for like a good couple years. And she's like a lawyer, like a big lawyer. Okay. And she was do a lot of her stuff were was about like the different cases that she's had and the different types of people that she's dealt with. Oh. And she doesn't name people or any of that. Yeah. But it's wild stories that she's turned into comedy and they're it's pretty much gold. No, like, but she's never bragging. That's like, funny. Yeah. No, that's the like people want to hear that stuff. Yeah. Like my client was there and freaking out in court and jumped over the table and tried to attack yeah. the judge. <laughs> See, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not even a lawyer, but yeah. I, I know stuff that's happened, you know? Yeah. So you're like, they're not, they're definitely not going to let you off now. <laughs> yeah. Going towards the judge yeah. was not really a smart idea. Or like in Cheech and Chong, where he goes towards the judge and needs a drink of water and goes and drinks the judge's water. He's like, this is fucking vodka. Uh, <laughs> now that's he gets gold. released. That's gold. Yeah. What about you, man? What have you been up to? 
been traveling a little bit. Yeah, I've been cruising around, been camping, I've been riding my dirt bike up in the trails and the mountains and stuff. Mm. I love it. It's uh, it's fun. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Other than that, just kind of just laying low, hanging out. But uh, And how's your new spot and how's all the nature? Dude. The new place rules, man. It's a it's a gold mine. Nice. Alan finally came and visited me the other day, you know, because I wanted to take him to lunch and take him to a burger place. And yeah. Also to uh, show him my spot. And he goes, dude, I've been to like this area many times because I have friends down here. He's like, I never even knew this neighborhood existed. Wow. Like it's it's a hidden gem. It's, and it's, it's just quiet. And you and what is that? On is in that it's in a trail. backyard. It's a trail. It's but, a full trail. It's a, but you were kayaking. Is that in yeah? Your there's the bay. Too? So there's oh, the a bay. bay that goes into the ocean. Yeah, so the ocean comes into it. Mm. I can tell when the tide is high and low, like wow. by the water and stuff. My buddy was going fishing one day, and I'm like, "You're going fishing today?" He goes, "Yeah, yeah, I'm going." I'm like, "Dude, the tide like this is the lowest I've ever seen the tide." He goes, "Oh, it's fine." He gets there, he's like, "Dude, fishing sucks." I'm like. I saw it. I get yeah. it. I was telling you that. Wow. Yeah, and it's it's cool. The coyotes that have been coming around, they there's a den like feet from my house where coyote den. The coyote so you den. You can hear them and stuff. Uh huh. I hear them in the morning. They make crazy noises, man. Yeah, they're gnarly because they call for each other. I hear them in the morning and I hear them like right at sunset, and then a couple times. One time I heard one like at three in the morning, which I was like, oh, he did a kill. And he's calling for his group to come, like it's eating time. Mm, Cause that was an odd time, like three in the morning. You oh know? yeah. And then that daytime one, the video I showed, uh, I didn't show it in the video, but uh, there was a guy walking two dogs. Oh. And the coyote spotted him. And the dude like pulled his dogs close to him, like brought in the leash and was running. And I'm like, the dude's an idiot for running because now he he's showing fear. Yeah, the, but I get it, protecting your dogs. But it was only one, and he was like, how? Like he was barking. He wanted his crew, his pack, yeah. and he was staying back, but he was still going for the dude. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. I seen a coyote on my bike ride, and like we stared at each other for a little bit, and then I just was like, ah. Yeah, and it just ran. Yeah, you just gotta be. They, they yeah. can see fear. They'll tell like, but if you if you like, mad dog them. Yeah, they're I mean, out. If, if they were in a group, that definitely wouldn't. Oh, happen. they would hate <laughs> you. I <laughs> fucking had to like ride my bike so fast. They're like, we got this kid and like, his bike. They just see me like a like a like a chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's about it that I've been up to. I've been keeping it mellow. I've been yeah. been trying to do good. So I seen your boy uh, Johnny Knoxville's movie. I think it's called Sweet Dreams. Yeah, the Bad News really Bear good one. Movie. I haven't gone to it yet. Shh, don't tell him. It was like I don't know if he was like trying to showcase how badass of an actor he was, but he was definitely like in that movie like the best one. Like as far as like showing vulnerability, there's a lot of parts where he's crying. Oh, like, really? Just like. It was really rad. Oh, yeah, I'm really? like, cool. and then the, the funny parts were hilarious. Bobby yeah. Lee's in it too, right? Bobby Lee's Him, in it. Johnny Knoxville, Bobby Lee. Yeah. Who else? Uh, Theo Vaughn. Okay. Um, uh, the, 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 the Palestinian guy. Forgot his name. He's he's really funny. I'm pretty sure he's Palestinian. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a it was a good movie. Oh, cool. You know, sometimes you wanna. I don't know. I, I do you ever catch yourself on Netflix? You're you're a YouTube guy, but I'm just YouTube, flipping, Netflix. just flipping, and there's great things, and you just yeah, all nothing the time. clicks all the time. I'm Netflix and YouTube. Okay, and then just a couple like cable channels. Yeah. I can't stand the news. Yeah, unless it's a car chase. I always watch KTLA in the morning just for like the first like ten fifteen minutes of my day. Like if I'm planning on chilling out at home just to kind of see what's going on in Los Angeles. Yeah. But it's just, it's everything. It's, it's, I don't know if it's just like the media catering to like all the negative shit that's going on. And then yeah. you have other people saying it's not really happening. 
it's just repeats of like what happened two weeks ago, you know, and doing. Yeah. And um, but yeah, that the dude Sam Rubin died. That the K, yeah. main KTLA guy. He was a big Jackass fan. He used, he used really? to interview us for KTLA. You know who else I loved and who like I met Sam Rubin. Uh, I liked him. I liked him a lot. Yeah, he's good. He's a down there yeah. dude. I watch KTLA once in a while. Uh, Mark Krisky. Yeah, he just had like a stroke. stroke. But dude. He he's up in Simi, Simi Valley. He's a so, nice guy too. He's a great guy. Yeah. And uh, I would see him at this barbecue place, just oh, wow. like a rad divey kind of barbecue place. He'd eat there too, and see him. I've seen him like twice, and I'd be like, Mark, super wow. cool dude too. And there's another guy on KTLA, deep voice, uh, brother man dude. Okay. I I always space his name. Met him too. Wow. I met all the KTLA. Where are, they, are they all in Simi Valley or something? Kind of up in the valley area. Okay. Yeah. I don't think he's in Simi, but up there in the valley. I heard there's a lot of cops that live in Simi Valley. Yeah, that's cop. Is that cup is that like the is that's that no. where they go because they don't wanna they don't wanna live where they work? Nah. Yeah. I think so. Nice. Yeah. There's a lot of cops that live like in my neighborhood too. Yeah, that's you're up in parole the, officers and people like that. Judges. Yeah. Lawyers. They don't want to live like in the chaos. No way. Yeah, you live. You kind of live up in nature too. Oh yeah, I live up in nature. You have a Someone, lake. Uh, in my lake that that we have, like, like three weeks ago, like we woke up to like helicopters, like being in the lake, shining lights into the lake. All these police, the fire department. It was like three in the morning, and then for like three day, four days, all the cops were there, and 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 like. Apparently, uh, a, a kayaker died in the lake, and they couldn't find him. And then, the lake's not that big. <laughs> it, it's it's not. But what happens is there's lots of weeds under the lake. Okay. And so apparently, what happened was the, the guy was guy kayaking, guy. and he had all these like bags and stuff in his kayak. So he was kind of like snugged in his kayak, and he had like a, a heat stroke. Didn't have, and, and he and he passed out. And, and the kayak spun around and he couldn't get out of it. And then he got stuck under all the weeds. And drowned. And drowned to death. And his brother basically just kept looking for him and finally found him like four days later. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. He was in the... No, because what happens is when you die, you sink. Okay. And, then all, and then the water blows you up and you rise back up. And that's what happened. That's how he found him. No way. Yeah. Did Sucks. Damn, that's gnarly. Yeah, it, because it's not a, it's not, it's it's a decent sized lake, but it's yeah. not, it's not huge. Where yeah. and it's not like there's like, when it, there's no waves or anything, you know, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like dangerous. Yeah, gets a little windy up there, but that's about it. Wow. Yeah, that was fucked up. Damn. And in my town, since it's such a small town, everyone, everyone talks about everyone it. Everyone knew. Yeah. yeah. Whew. How about anything else going on in your life, Punch? You do anything this weekend? Yeah, I'm going to come stay at your house because I'm doing a show at Polly's. Well, I know you're doing Friday. something this weekend. Yeah. You kind of, did you do anything this weekend? Oh, did I do anything this weekend? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did a bunch of comedy shows. I've been getting a lot of comedy shows, which is really good for me. And um, I, did the, I, 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 I bombed really hard at this one comedy show that I did because... I, and now I see what comedians talk about when they go on the road, but they're mm -hmm. like really good comedians and they're talking about like going on the road and bombing. Okay. And you're like, how is it possible that you could bomb? Like you talk about everything. You're hilarious. Okay. Everything. And I went to the show and it was uh, in, in Long Beach. And basically the way they had it set up at that bar that I told, it's like a skate bar. The good and bar. the way they had it set up is like this was the first comedy show that they've ever had there. Usually the stage they have uh, they have bands, live bands playing. Okay. And so the stage was set up where it was really really dark, and then all the light was on the audience. All right. And and then all the TVs for sports were going on. Then there was like a hockey game going on. I think there's like a slot machine in there too, where someone's like, do it. So <laughs> things are dinging. <laughs> The game is going on. People no one's paying attention. I, I was just, I, I, it, it, it just sucked really bad. I got paid, which was cool. Yeah. But I, I'm like, this is, my wife was laughing because she laughs when I bomb. So, but wow. it, it, 
it was one of the it was just a terrible experience it's one of those that you're like fuck this sucks yeah and when you go on the road you don't know what to expect yeah some shows are going to be like that and some like where the people watching sports are like shut the fuck up <laughs> you know what i mean like, hey funny guy yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not <laughs> funny shut up we're trying to watch the game and you're like uh yeah. So, so when I was born, like <laughs> anybody ever seen a little person? <laughs> Look over here. Oh, <laughs> uh, and I did this one joke where like I like and for some reason I don't know, but like I was just bombing hard already and I was talking about like doing the Rob Zombie and being the Nazi. <laughs> and I was I was like and I was like, yeah, the critics ripped it apart. They hated the movie. They hated my character. I don't blame them. They were Jewish. They, they, or they were Jews or something. Yeah. I said that, and I, like, stopped and looked at one person. And then I just forgot the rest of the thing. So that's kind of how it stopped. And then I went into another joke. It was, it was really, really bad. <laughs> oh, wow. But I've done yeah. that before, too, where you're talking, and then you look, and you, you focus on somebody, and you're like, what was I saying? Yeah. And the person that I focused, focused on was a friend of mine that did like makeup work on me before that lived by there and was like, I come check out your show. Yeah. But she just got surgery on like her stomach. So she couldn't laugh. So everything I was saying, I was doing a lot of my jokes towards her and stuff. And she's yeah. also Jewish, like, like Israeli kind of from there speaks okay. the language. And I did this joke and I landed on her. And then after afterwards, she came up to me. She was like, you were so funny. I'm like, you didn't laugh at anything. I was like, and she was like, no, I just had surgery. I couldn't laugh. If I laughed, I would rip my stomach open and my guts would fly out. I was like, okay, well, thank you for coming. Yeah. But it was just, it who was goes a really. Out, who goes out on a night like that? I don't know. I think it was just. She still was committed. Yeah, she She's was like, committed to the to the. She promised you. Yeah, she promised. She she definitely came through. I just got out of the hospital, punch, <laughs> but you know what? I gave you my word. Thanks for not being funny. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I was at a restaurant last night. I saw a lady wearing a full wrap, like under her chin and around her ears. Like a wrap, like a COVID wrap? No, like a wrap, like uh, what bandage. Are they, what do they call that? I don't oh, know. Oh, a bandage. A bandage. And my friend goes, what do you think that's for? I'm like, definitely got a facelift, you know what I mean? Mm. And holding everything in place. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. But I was like, fucking trooper goes out to eat, you know, six o'clock at night, like having dinner out in public. Fuck, you gotta eat. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow. Okay. Damn. Anything else? You told me about something else you did over the weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what'd, you, what'd you do? What'd you get into? Yesterday, there's this camp by my house. It's called uh, the Painted Turtle. And basically what it does, it, it, it kind of, uh, it's a camp for people with all disabilities. And each week throughout the summer has different different disabilities, different conditions that they cater to at the okay. camp where they have the doctors there and it's almost like an LPA thing. They have the but, doctors there too? Yeah, the doctors are there for the, the, the particular conditions and, and, and all that. Yeah. And the, I went there in the first week of camp and it was uh, little people week. So, and there was little people from the ages of seven to the age of 17. And then there, there was like e even little people like counselors and stuff and volunteers that had been in this camp for the past like 10 years and now they're old enough to like be be volunteers or be counselors and this is like it like meant so much to them going to this camp that they want to like continue with it it was that's rad really really cool and i seen a bunch i've never been around so many little people especially like little kids yeah and i just kept seeing like myself i'm like oh that's me when i was young i'm like oh there's wee man when he was young like, <laughs> you know a bunch of mo the majority of the little people there were the uh the, the Acons. Acon, Acon dwarfs, yep. which is our dwarfism. But uh, mm -hmm. it was just really neat to see. And uh, little women too, like little little girls. Like it was it was really cool. Like it kind of it reminded me of when I was a kid as, as far as like how um, I was very quiet you yeah. know, when I was younger. I think I was insecure or something. And I, I saw a lot of that in these little kids. And so I would go make it a point to go talk to them. Uh -huh. and, and and make them feel comfortable 
and then we got to talking and it was neat and there was that one moment where they 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 did they gave us a tour of the whole camp and at the end of the camp at the end of the tour we ended up in the dining hall where it was like lunchtime okay and all the kids were in there for lunchtime and so me and my wife walk in to like a group of like maybe like 200 people in this place for lunch and usually for places like this when i walk in it's like the record stops yeah everyone I, like looks i know the you feeling. know you know yeah, what i'm I talking about the feeling yeah and and i think it's more so though when you were younger though before oh, totally. you were like famous and all that where it was like but but it changed it made me i already i already knew the feeling it yeah. would be from being a little person to being a famous person yeah. It's it's the same stare though. Yeah, no, it's, it's the, the same, same stare. like head turn and stare. And, and so me and my wife walk in, and it just wasn't like that at all. It was just like, oh, he's just another little dude, you know, in but here. Wait, like, who's I, the tall lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and so it just made me feel like I'm like, oh, this is what they talk about, like, and like whenever I talk to people that have gone to LPA or are part of LPA, they just. You can go to this place and actually where you're where you feel like an outcast in the real world. Yeah. And you go to this place and and you're at home. Like yeah. you're you're comfortable. You totally Everyone is almost catering to you. Like you're you're everyone's normal, you know, yeah. they're all the same. And I seen like the smallest little people, like, you know, and they had like little stools to go up to the salad bar and stuff. It was and it was just normal, like everything. I'm like, holy shit. This is yeah. this was really cool. The painted turtle, I, I and then every week, like I said, is a different condition. Do is it a camp where they're staying like in cabins and stuff? Yeah, like full, they're staying like, in cabins, camping out, pit, bonfire. All oh that. yeah, they they do all that. They no have like a way. rope swing there. They do fishing there. They do kayaking there. Like, yeah, it's a bunch of. The, they have a cool pool, and the pool they have. It's like the pool that you walk into that gets deeper and deeper. It's, it, you know, it's like, I forgot what they're called, but they're, yeah. they're people in wheelchairs and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it just goes from zero yeah. to deep. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really That's cool. rad. Um, yeah, that was- Infinity that. pool. Yeah. Because it goes- No, it, no, the infinity pool's where the water's Yeah, but it's, this, it's kind of the, it's the, it's the other side. They yeah. kind of can call yeah. it that. You know, you know like, it, like at Raging Waters where yeah. they have- yeah, the, It's the almost like the pool. beach. Yeah, it's but like, like the beach. Yes, it's, it's exactly like, the like beach. that. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit, that is such a badass pool. Yeah. Like that. And yeah, yeah no, it was, it, was, it was cool to, to kind of be a part of that and, and see that. Did you see any kids that like inspired to be skaters? No, there, definitely not. There was no. like a group of like probably like 20 like little people like that were like in the age of like 17, like older okay. kids. Yeah. And you're like, oh, these are the kids that are dominating this this whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, but you when, know, when they're they... like, they can't wait for the sports to happen and all uh, that stuff. Okay. They have they have competitions for that. Just soccer, kind of like, football. Yeah, soccer. Kind of and then they had this um, big stadium in there, like a, a stadium and um, – the Lakers like donated money to make the the basketball court in there, huge oh, no. basketball court, beautiful basketball court, stands and everything. I was like, and the Lakers donate all the money. And the the person that started this camp is Paul Newman, and he started it, and now he's got like I think like twenty nine different camps around the U S. No way. Yeah, and it's it's for all disabilities, but for this time, it's funny because they usually say that they end uh the last week they they, they always end with the little people uh -huh. of summer and, and this this, this year because the little people are such high energy because they got all different you know people like with cerebral palsy all yeah, yeah, yeah. different groups that go to this camp and <laughs> this year they end they started with the little people just to oh, start yeah. with that energy you know dang like, <laughs> that's awesome yeah like they have like people like uh that are like uh kidney kidney uh, people that are missing kidneys or that had just like really everything. crazy everything. everything yeah but it was kind of neat to be a part of that and see that and you know you can go back and volunteer and do whatever did they ask you to come back or anything they, they definitely asked yeah they, they asked me to come back it was it was a really cool experience i would definitely go back but it's a lot of work you know like yeah. you're running around everywhere oh it's yeah. like it's like daycare yeah it's full daycare yeah so, and that's, the, it, but the age goes to, to a little older, you know? Yeah, so. definitely. But it was cool. Did they ask you to do anything when you were there? No, I didn't do it. No, they didn't no? ask me to do anything. Oh. No, um, 
They but I could see like, it's definitely like a hookup camp because some of the counselors. That's the, LPA the, anyway, the dude, No, dude. but I'm talking about like how, like the counselors <laughs> that are taking care of the little people, like whether they're little people or like, uh, average. Or, or average, like the, there's, there, there, there's hookups going on. Yeah. <laughs> Punch is spotting it out. Uh, 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 like, no, they're hooking up. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was really cool, man. Well, that's what camps for. Camps, yeah, you ex you experience new things. The only camp I went to growing up was like um, skate camp. Same. Yeah, I went to skate camp before I was a pro, like as yeah. as like a, a camper. So did I. Oh, you did? Which I did one? too. I went to the YMCA. Visalia? Visalia. Yeah, I went to Visalia too. But we didn't go the same time. Yeah, no, we didn't go the same I year. Went... But I was a camper, dude. So was I. Crabtree was at my camp. Is that how? Is that how you met? No. Me? Didn't even know. Who was at my camp? Jonas Ray was at my camp. Uh, okay. And he, and, but his brother, Jeremy Ray, was pro. Yeah. And Jonas wasn't pro yet, but he was really good. But he was one of the visiting pros, jo uh, Jeremy Ray. Rick Howard was still on Blockhead. Oh, really? He came. Mike Carroll was there. What? Yeah. We no, had you would bit, always get like, we had I feel badass. like Visalia had a lot of the like San Jose heads and San Francisco heads. Dude, it was rad. Yeah. And the reason my buddy Chuck and I went was- Oh, you went with Chuck? Yeah. We Chuck went, is your skate camp buddy? Yeah. He uh, got sick the first day there. Oh, no. And stayed in his cabin the whole time. Holy shit. But yeah, no, we had a blast. And the contest there, I was skating against everybody. I got third place. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you. I, I was. I that was, was when you ripped. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> when <"Fuck> I you. <laughs> ripped. Like, I still rip, dude. I still rip, bro. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's but, awesome. It's Mike Crabtree. Did, Mike was Crabtree. Tim Brock there too? At yours? No, I don't think the mm. the kid or Tim was there. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think of a couple other people who were there, but it was a fun time. Yeah, fucking Mike Carroll. Holy shit. Yeah, Mike Carroll and Rick Howard. That was probably right before they were going to start Plan yeah, B. Yeah, totally. Yeah. When they started hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Dude, it was so good. And then, uh, yeah, but Visalia was... So how old were you when you went to camp? Still in high school. Yeah. 17? No, I think it was 16. 16. 15 or 16. And it was right after 8th Street, the summer before 8th Street was were they, there. Were there the big pants? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, you were there with the big pants? Yeah, small wheels, big pants. Yeah. But it was right after 8th Street did it, uh, you know, had their video where they were there the whole time. I think I went there in 93. Oh, yeah, you went a couple years after. Maybe me. 92. I think yeah. we went 89. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that plan B was definitely about to start. Yeah. Cause they started in 90, 91. Yeah. Yeah, so it was right when Mike Carroll and Rick Howard started hanging out. So it was cool, it was fun. What tricks were you doing back then? Like what was your favorite trick? Uh, I was doing front side ollies on, so I did on the quarter pipe, on the fun box, there was a quarter pipe underneath the PVC like handrail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I front side ollied up to the PVC handrail and 50-50 grind down. What? Dude. That's cool. Yeah. And then in my run, like I didn't even fall once. I did it. I didn't do that. That wasn't in my run. But I started off where I went to the big quarter pipe and did a big fakey ollie. Yeah. It's fakey and then turned around and then just hit everything yeah, else. that's dope. My second, like I did my first run, didn't fall once. Everybody was like, ooh, I took my second run, bailed like second trick. And they're like, dude, you're good. You got a great first run. yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, all right, cool. <clears throat> yeah, skate camp, man. That that was fun, man. Yeah, it was a good time. So you you got comedy this weekend. You're gonna come down to my area. Yeah, I'm gonna show you some nature. Yeah, and uh, eat some good food. Yeah, like for usual. Sure. We won't run into any drunk chicks this time. Uh, <laughs> no drunk chicks. Let's talk about so, some of the guests that we've had on. Okay. <clears throat> uh, mini kiss. Ever okay. since we've had them on, I see posts all the time now. Yeah. You like, know what's funny is... Uh, well, they should be, I think they're residents now yeah. in Vegas. Yeah. You know what? Because uh, I read all the comments that people say, and a lot of the comments, like with the Mini Kiss episode, a lot of the people are commenting and saying they should call him Peck. 
and I got and I was insulted by it at first because I yes it's just a peck uh, yeah a peck it's just but I was insulted at first by it because in remember in the movie Willow. Oh, the little they would guy. Call, they name. would call him Pack, Pack, like all like that 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 all people would like, it, "Hey, Pack, get out of the way, Pack, move, Pack." And it's a mini kiss. Yeah, also, and, though. And so I was like, and then I was like, "No, a Pack is it's like a, a mini, mini kiss. kiss." I'm like, "Dude, that would be it's rad." So good. Call him Pack. Yeah. We're Pack. <laughs> yeah. We still got to get back that get that dude back here to show us his tattoo. Yeah, we will. <laughs> I'm heading out to Vegas in September. Really? You should come out with me. And yeah. You should go see them. Yeah, go we see them. We should do a couple band. days out there. Yeah. I got something coming out. I can't talk about it yet, but a buddy of mine's got something going on. Oh, nice. And I'm going out there. So sweet. Spend a couple days. I there's a, there's a couple things I want to go. I want to go to uh, Golden Tiki, my favorite tiki bar. See those. Are guys. you gonna go to the Sphere? Sphere? Oh, the Sphere? I yeah. don't know. I haven't planned on it. There's like a. I forgot. The word YouTube there. plays. Grateful Dead is playing there or some shit. No, Are you a Grateful no, Deadhead? I never. I was no. never a Deadhead, bro. People, yeah, I have friends that like traveled and did all that. That's shit. That's Deadhead shit. Yeah, no. But yeah, so Mini Kiss, they were good on here. Uh, who did we? Have? Oh, Gigi was good. Yeah, yeah. Gigi How's she was, doing? Gigi's doing good. I'm just doing another movie with her right now. You're no, working. No, uh, it's coming August. Oh, okay. I'm shooting a movie. I, I got like five days on it. It was really cool. Oh, you already shot, or you're no, no, no. I, I, one? My my man, my my agent kind of lined it up, fixed it. Gigi did a movie called Brute, 1976. Yeah, I've been. She's been posting about and, it, and and basically, it's like a, it's almost like a fucking like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre style movie. Yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets The Hills Have Eyes. Okay, and they're doing a sequel to it. That that the first one hasn't even come up, come out yet, but. Uh, it's getting such good like response from like producers and other people that have seen it, festivals and shit, that they're shooting a sequel to it, nice. and it's called Brute 1986. And uh, cool. your boy, my boy Ponch is in your, it. My, your boy is is in it. Nice. And uh, yeah, but it's a pretty cool role. Um, but yeah, I get to. That's that's what's so cool about Gigi is like she looks she's, out. She she's like production. Like she's she a- looks out, dude. She was like, hey, I'm doing this other movie that I did. We're doing a sequel to it. And I was telling the director about you. And he looked you up. And I told him, you know, about like the stiletto, how, what we shot and your part in that. And he thinks that you would be great for this. And what, check it out. And I was like, yeah, I checked it out. It was pretty cool. Nice. And I was able to work out some good deal, you know. That's, it's It's funny when like you have an agent and you kind of have to like tell them like, not what you want, but it's like, you should, it's not that you should know this, but like, we're oh. trying to work out the best, best deal. Get me a top billing. Get me, get me Alan, this much money. Like, Alan you, does you know, for like me. Alan goes big for me. Yeah. Like, like yeah. yeah, I think with the manager, it's a little different. They kind of, they, they go a little bit more, they go a yeah. little bit harder at that stuff. Yeah. They bring out the big guns. Yeah. I used to have a manager and an agent and that's, that was really cool, but sometimes they would clash. Yeah, and then and then you're giving up like twenty five percent of your check. I never had an agent. Yeah, I only kept Alan. That's all. I but needed. my agent is really good for the most part. But nice. yeah, I think managers definitely go a little harder when it comes to the negotiations of like yeah. what they want for you because they want the most for themselves. Selves, yeah. With agents, it's like a little different because. They're running a whole bunch of people. They're 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 trying to get a bunch of people on. If you tarnish yeah. your relationship, yep. then it, it it could stop them from like using any of your other clients. No, I know. So it's a it's a strategy, but I get it. But yeah, so I get to do that with her, um, which will be cool. But I would love to. We should go uh, check out one of those wrestling matches too. Uh, the the oh, micro mi- micro, micro yeah uh, micro mini wrestling run by, run by a normal white dude R- run by by run <laughs> by the norm- don king the, the normal white dude don run king. by the white don king yeah, <laughs> yeah. um tori by the way yeah her episode recently dropped yeah she says tell you hi yeah she watched your reels she thinks you're doing good comedy and she wishes you the best out in the comedy world. Oh, thanks, Tori. Yeah. Tori's one of those uh, people that we've had on that really pushes everything. 
She's she like, does. Yeah, she's really great, and she adds stuff to it. She's because she's really funny, you know, in general. So it's just uh, she's been she's been great, and I had I enjoyed having her on. She was a good one. Did yeah. you see when like she talked about her slam on the? On oh the yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm I saw the pictures. The I reposted it. Yeah. yeah, it was rad, dude. I was like, that's like the client, you know, the guests we want, the ones that are like, oh, don't worry, I'll get the footage. Yeah, and they have it, and they yeah. just put it out there. No, she was great. Yeah, no, she's a hustler. She's good. So. Matt Pales was a good one. Matt Pales was really good. Yeah. Really I hope. Good. I I mean, he's really been pushing it, and people seem to really like him, you know? He's like, chill. He's yeah, very he's, good guy. He's very chill, very good guy. He's doing a rad thing. So. Let's, do you want to, uh, so our, our season is about to end. This one right now. This one for now, and we'll be back in a couple weeks. Yeah, at the month, a month at the longest, but we'll be back. We're uh, pretty soon. We're regrouping. We're making another dream list. Yes, and we're going out and living our lives. So we have more stories to tell you guys. Yeah, and the dream list, by the way, you got, if you guys follow, if you guys are part of the fan base, let us know which which guests you would like to have on, and we'll try our best to get them on. We can't make any promises. <laughs> I'm getting like get we man to give him a hand job or something. <laughs> no, I am no handies here. <laughs> no hand bro. jobs for this. <laughs> Punch is the handle. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. Handle. I'll, I'll, guys, I'll fucking bite the bullet. <laughs> I'll even go skiing. Okay, <laughs> just come on our show. Just kidding. Come on our show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're inviting Mini Kiss dude oh. back by himself. Yeah, <laughs> solo artist. <laughs> solo artist. <laughs> we're gonna come have him come dressed as Trump. And That's right. Oh, dude. for the election. For the election. Come on. How badass of an episode would that be? Dude, mini Trump. He comes. Tr this is mini Trump. Trump. And He's shows his gig. It, if he gig. gets out of character, we get to slap the shit out of him. We beat up Trump. We beat <laughs> up mini Trump. But if we have a mini Trump, we have to have a mini Biden. No, there is no mini Biden. No, no, no mini Biden. No one wants to be mini Biden. Mini Biden will just be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have him snugged up. Like, you okay, buddy? Yep. <laughs> He'll just raise his hand like he's still alive. Yep. <laughs> it's just like I'm good. He's like number one. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, that'll be good. It's on. Yeah. No. Tr Mini Trump will come. Yeah. And he'll come. Like, Mini Trump has got a dick yeah. tattoo. And we're we're yeah. making it happen. Okay. And we're gonna fucking. It's on. It's. We may have to do that one in Vegas. Mm. But or no, the, he'll come spot. out here. Oh, no, we can't he'll, talk he'll, about it. He'll come out here. We got big plans, guys. We can't really talk about it, but he'll we come have. Out here. That, our next out season here. is going to be. It's going to be a bit. You're, you're excited, huh? Yeah, I'm fucking excited. Are you? I'm very excited. Yeah. I need to I need to make the dream list again. I want, I need, I got people. Okay, I want who do you want? Like what, uh, who, <laughs> in, in, a, in a perfect world. Brad Pitt. <laughs> What would we talk about with Brad? How rad are you? you know, how how fucking good looking he is. Yeah, like, he's a handsome dude. That dude is one of those dudes that he's a good looking, I don't think he's, he's, he's had any man. work. He's a beautiful he, he's man. He's a beautiful as he aged, man. Right? That's what I'm talking about. That's why you don't need Botox. Yeah, but that dude you was just, beautiful his whole life. And yeah, he, you're going to age that way. Good. Yeah. Nice. You're aging pretty well. I love with it. With your fucking beauty creams and shit. Yeah. Eating good. What is it? so you got you didn't get your beauty creams at like the kiosk in no. the mall. I got Strict. hustled like that before by some <laughs> Armenian <laughs> fucking guy. Those guys are good hustlers, dude. They just he, gave you Lubriderm lotion. Like four hundred bucks for all this shit. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you got Lubriderm lotion in a fancy bottle. <laughs> just rub this on your skin. <laughs> I got hustled by the Armenian in the kiosk, dude. That's, Shit. That you could smell a hundred feet away as you were coming towards him. You already knew I that could was smell the, his hustle. Yeah, yeah. The, no, the cologne he was oh, wearing oh, too. Oh yeah, yeah, strong cologne, strong, really strong cologne. Yeah, yeah. Now we'll get some good people. But who who is your your who do you want? I don't to know Brad right Pitt? now. I'm come on. You you love music. Oh, I still want Robert Trujillo. Robert Trujillo. Yeah. Okay, Trujillo. we need Fletcher. Fletcher. Robert Trujillo. Fletcher I would from love Pennywise. another dream one would be Keith Morris of the Circle Jerks. Circle Jerks, okay. Yeah, 
He's what amazing. about Mike Muir? You're a big Mike Muir fan? Yeah, Mike Muir. I love Mike Muir. We could talk about how we, we could... were going to fight before his fight that one time. Yeah. I and could... I pussed out. Yeah. <laughs> I could get Mike Muir on. Yeah. That's an easy one. That's okay. Like, that's not a hard Okay, dream that's not dream. a dream list, though. No, okay. that's one. I didn't think about it too much, but we can make that happen. What about a skateboarder? Jim Muir, his brother. Okay. So we can have the mirrors. Okay. But I would do them separately. Okay. Because they're both talkers. Okay. Jim, we just say hello, and he'll just let loose on here. Yeah. But, yeah. No, Jim would be good. Uh, another skater. Um, hmm. I don't know. There's a lot out there. Yeah. There's a lot of skaters out there. Did we? We haven't had a girl skater yet. We were going to have Leticia, but she oh, yeah. wanted to Zoom. She phoned it in. She, she wanted, wanted to phone, phone it, it in. in. So we are like, nap. No phone ins. We we try to get personal. You can't get personal with the phone ins. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't like really look at someone and be like, "Yeah, you're lying." <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. Yeah, and plus they could just shut off. Like you know, they could just leave the room. Like, nah, we don't want that. We, you're here. Yeah, we, we want need you to be here. here, right here in the middle. Your presence needs to be present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we we'll, we we'll got some stuff coming up. It'll yeah. be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah, Next absolutely. level. We're taking absolutely. it up a notch. Yeah, we, we definitely are going to take it up a notch. So, for sure. Oh. Well, I think we're Maybe good. Maybe we'll have an intervention for, you know, joking. Intervention? What am I, do what am I doing that needs to be intervened? It's am I you, getting too it's zen? It's not what you're doing. It's what you've done. Am I getting too zen? You are very zen. I'm dude. getting way too zen, dude. I think, I think the yoga is making you soft. So definitely, I'm not soft. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it, it, it's always sexual with you. It's always, no, it's you with the Texas Shocker. <laughs> yeah, dude. I didn't do Texas Shocker this time. But <laughs> I'm definitely not soft. <laughs> well, let's go get a softie. How's yeah. that sound? <laughs> no, nah, man. Uh, I think uh, I think that. Uh, we got one more episode with Nick James coming out, and then we got this one. Yeah. And then we take a little minor a little hiatus breather. break. And we regroup with some new regroup people. Regroup with some new, good, uh, some, some new people. If you guys have any ideas, send us uh, the guest list, and we'll try to make it happen. If not, just deal with what we got. <laughs> we may even have a little merch. Ooh. Ooh. We are working on merch, merch. guys. We'll have merch soon. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All, All right. right. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank That's you, it. Third Wheel. Thank you, Third Wheel. Keep on riding on the side. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucked up. <laughs>